Hello, this is Penn School Alumni Interview. I'm Jaden, your host, and I have the honor of interviewing one of our best students here at Penn. Please welcome. Dong We are all familiar with you here at Penn. We've all seen you on the posters and the advertisement. But for those who don't know, can you please tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, so hi guys, my name is Dong Nghi and I'm currently a second year student at Swinburne University of Technology. Um, I'm majoring in business administration. Mm, business administration. So yeah. you'll be a successful businesswoman in the future. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've been a college student for how many years now? Two. Like I'm gonna be in my third year. Two. So coming Two. to third year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you've been studying in college for two years. Would you say that there's a big difference between high school you and college you? Um, I think there's not much difference between me in my high school and me in university right now. Mm. I think it's because um, I'm studying also in an international university, so there's a lot of common when I was back in high school. This international school mm. it helped familiarize you, so what did it do to help you specifically? Not just that um, we're in an English-speaking community, but it's also about the freedom of speech. The freedom of speech. You know what it means. Mm -mm. So yeah. you, you, so you feel like you can express yourself more than if, say, you were in a public school. You got my point. I've heard that you used to study in the bilingual program, which consisted of the Vietnamese and the American curriculum, but you've switched to the ADP program, which uh, only teach in English alone. So, what is the reason behind that? It was in it was back when I was in grade ten, and it was during the summer break. So I was informed that our school will have um, a new international program, which is the ADP. So I was I wasn't sure if I should study in this program or not. So I talked to Peter. We spent a lot of time talking with each other, and he gave me uh, he gave me a lot of advice uh, about what I should do, about my future plans. And he encouraged me to, you know, get out of my comfort zone and try to study in this program. If you were to close your eyes now, slowly think of the most special memory that you've made here at Penn or associated with Penn, what is your first thought? What is the first thing that pops up to your mind? Um, the Christmas performance I had with EADB 11 and EADB 12. When, when I first studied at this program, there was not many students here and we were all very close. We have ADB 10, 11, and 12 back then. Mm. Um, probably about 30, 40 of us. And we were so close at that time and we have a lot of memories with each other. And one of the most thing that um, I think that we can never have again is the performance that we have at school it was in oh it was not in Christmas. It was in Teachers' Day, oh. during Teachers' Days, and we performed a song that um, we wrote it. Mm. Dia wrote it. One of the member of our class she wrote that song, and we performed it in front of the teachers and all the students. It was very lovely. Okay, if you would close your eyes again, slowly think of a teacher that you have the most memory with that spent time with you the most or, or maybe just have a lot of great memories with you, who is the first person that pops up in your mind? Miss Hu. Miss Hu. I think you know her, right? I do know her. She was our homeroom teacher in grade 11 and grade 12. To be honest, I'm sorry to say this, um, we didn't like you at first because you were very strict, but after two years when I look back, I feel very lucky to have um, a, a homeroom teacher and a second mother like you who oh. take care of us like every day, every little things. Mm. Love you. <laughs> uh, oh, I definitely. Oh, no, I have her for two years now, and I think I'll have her for my last year as well. I hope that I'll have good memories to reflect, just like mm. you do. Okay. You will. So, I'm gonna brag you for a second. Mm. What does this look anything familiar to you? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Divorce so, Where do you get that? 
it's written here, the word Skull Cup, and I think it was from um, the year 2021. Mm. Yeah, me and my team got this. So 2021, that's grade 12, correct? Yeah, my last so year. So yeah. that was when you were applying to college. True. Hmm. So you got that. You also got, um, you, you also got 40% scholarship at Swinburne. You are also great at piano. So like that's a lot to do in 12 years. So if there's one secret that you would share to us, what would it be? Just tell me, I won't tell anyone. So I was not born in intelligence, yeah, and I don't know much about um, the knowledge that we have to study here. But I think my secret is just to be hardworking, mm. like every day. Just like I'm doing my piano, I spend I have to spend like at least thirty to one hour a day to practice my piano with my study. I was not good at English back then. Mm. I had to spend like. I think at least two hours a day. Yeah, I, and I watch YouTube. Sometimes I watch movies and I study um, English in the book. Mm. Yeah, and that's just a, be hardworking. That's a lot of dedication for piano playing. I definitely cannot play an instrument because you I can. can. I cannot spend two hours doing keyboard work. You know, it's you too can. frustrating. <laughs> I would get it wrong all the no, time. No, everyone can. What's your secret to balance time? To balance time, mm. um, I think you have to have a specific schedule. Like today, I need to finish this. I need to finish what part, and I'm not going to sleep until I finish everything that I need to do. That. Wow, that's a lot of work. I certainly cannot do that. No, you you can. Oh, I know. Okay, so you were telling me that you were in business administration, correct? So if you were close your you you were to close your eyes again. Mm -hmm and imagine five years from now, would you see yourself as a businesswoman, a successful businesswoman, or in any other path that you're currently interested in? So let me tell you this. So my short-term goal right now is to uh, transfer to Australia to finish my bachelor degree, which is next year. I'll graduate, and after that, I want to take another degree in data analysis. Da data analysis. So yeah. you hope to be a data scientist or just an uh, analyzer? Analyzer. I know that you have had great success with your high school career. So if there's another, another secret, another tip that you would give to your younger self, what would you give? The first thing I want to advise you guys is to spend your time focusing on your study. This is a very important time when you need to prepare for yourself to study in a new environment which is so much different from high school. Please focus on your study. That's the first thing. The second one, besides studying, spend time doing something else like um, participating in extracurricular activities. Um, it can be um, any clubs or your hobbies like um, piano or other instruments. Mm -hmm. And the third one is Please take care of yourself and your family also. Like spend time to relax, uh, to do something that you like and spend time talking with your families. Share with them about your, your plan in the future so that they can understand you and support you. That mm -hmm. answer is actually perfect. And that also wraps up our Penn School alumni interview. I'm Jaden, and I hope to see you in the future as a successful data, data analyzer. Thanks, Jaden. Bye-bye. Goodbye.